Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the Ironic Paradise. I've uh, just had another steam explosion as I was finally cleaning off this area. So I finally got this cooled back down, started cooling off the base, and then heated this all up again. But this should be coming down nicely. Uh, I believe last episode I was doing this awesome petroleum trick. I did remember to switch these to insulated tiles. And so by sealing this all in, diagonally putting in a liquid vent, and then backfilling it with petroleum, go to the liquid, you know, make a nice vacuum seal. Did the same thing over here. Just built this solid out of bricks, backed it in, and then filled it with oxygen. So this is tamed, but it's not going to go off again for another 43 cycles. This whole area is now dug out. Fleeing. Where do you guys get to that you're fleeing? Where? Where, where did you just come from? I mean, he must have been doing something like that and got this... I, I have no idea. I don't know. Oh, uh, it is a confirmed bug that all the dupes have radiation face. So, the next update will probably fix radiation face. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, right, I was going to uh, probably put in another deodorizer farm over here just to start getting this down to something reasonable. The other thing I'm thinking about, right now this is all super hot from all the debris that was in here. That's all I'm cooling down. Like I said, this isn't going to be active for a while. What I'm thinking is I can just use this to slowly eat the heat out of this biome. And then by eating the heat out of this biome, I can then come through here, dig this way, and clean this all out. Seems like a heck of a plan. Let's see, how are you doing on water? Why is there petroleum there? Why is there petroleum there? Oh, I think I froze petroleum in here at one point. And so the melted petroleum just popped out. Here we were already over here. Oh, what am I doing with the water? Yeah, so right now I am filling up this water tank and it's just about full. So I'm now gonna swap this back to salt water. That will then send liquid down this pipe and start melting this side. Not the fastest way of doing it, but I'm not at all concerned. That water still got to get rid of at some point. Let's make that one taller. It has an overflow, but at some point it could. This is all nice and stable. I mean, I've got just ridiculous amounts of power. Ooh, I think my polluted water is backed up. Yes, it is. Well, if in that case, let's actually do that. And let's feed that to the other base. Yeah, because that's an output. No, no, because those are... Here, I have to do this. This has to have an input and an output for this to work. That way, whatever the plants can eat will eat, and then the rest of it will flow through. And then this water tank is helped being feed everything else. So, yeah, all the water problems are completely sorted. Yeah, perfect. So now these plants... Come on, I'm hitting the escape button. These plants will eat whatever they can. We'll follow the pipe. That pipe then comes over here and you see it's alternating which really only goes fast when I'm sending a rocket back and forth. That water then comes all the way over to here, 
feeds into this system, which then feeds excess water into this tank and keeps the tank full. Oh, this one's active again. Yeah, so eventually that will fill up. Is this tank not full? Okay, that's what's going on. I was trying to figure out why I wasn't getting any polluted water over to the plants, because that tank isn't full. We can hook up the rest of these plants. So only after this tank is full, that is full, and that is full, will these plants get water. Actually, let's check the food. Uh, you, I just sent some food over. You have 200,000. You have three... 34,000? Am I not making enough from these ranches? There's 50 critters in there. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Oh, that's salt. I thought that was a pinch row egg. Anyway. Yeah, you should be holding steady at around 60,000. You just grab sleet wheat whenever they need it. And these guys have got plenty of food. All right. Now we're back over here. The main thing I'm thinking about... Oh, the, this I can get rid of. So I use this filter to fill the loop with polluted water to get some extra cooling. And then the clean water went into here. What I'm thinking is, how do I get the excess power? Because I'm going to use this as geothermal. I need to get excess power out of there. And feed that onto the grid. Your potential load is 3,000? Oh, because you're hooked to that. Yeah. I guess I'm not really going to use this rocket. Like this rocket platform was to save the other dupe and I've been using it to bring some fluid back and forth, but it's not a big deal. So that means I can extend this. This is all going to get so complicated. Alright, so I'm going to build that, then we'll figure out how to get a power wire up there. My dupes are getting faster at building, which is nice. I'm not sure if I need automation for this. That's what we're going to figure out once these wires get connected. And I figured more battery power is always good. Where did you just grab that gold from? Who knows? Right, where do I have extra power around here? You are the one that's overloaded. You aren't. Oh, I'm just, I'm going to put in the... Deodorizer reactor. You don't need to be made out of steel. Maybe some more ladder segments. And these should be growing branches. Yes. Again, with the fleeing. So if these are growing branches, these, yeah, these aren't starving anymore. So my, my pips were starving, that's why I haven't touched anything up here. Edible. 
meat. And we'll start cooking up pip eggs. So that's why there are no pips up there, as they all died. They starved to death. How are you overloading? You trying to suck too much power through it? I will keep an eye on it. Maybe I'm doing something wrong there. Seriously, where are you fleeing from? I'm guessing it's there? Is someone else hurt here again? Name is Ashcan again. I really don't know what he keeps fleeing from. He's never anywhere near anything. These are all gold amalgam. No, eh, iron ore is fine. I found iron ore over here. Maybe I do. Maybe I should just put in some automation. Gold. Alright, we'll let them build that. We'll get the automation sorted. There. So now they should only turn that on if these batteries get too low. Not the best thing, but it'll work. Now down here, the problem with digging into the magma biome is this is not gonna cool off anytime soon. I think I have the sensor set to 130 and it's just not gonna get down there for a while. I mean, it's, this 200 degrees in temperature is only from the debris in here. Now, there is a bunch of abyssalite, and you can't do anything with it. Like, abyssalite just won't exchange temperature, so running it on the rails won't do anything. So, very important, make sure you're not trying to ship it. All right, well, let them finish their building project. They are done with the deodorizer reactor over here. And I think I am going to just come in here and dig. So I'm gonna make this easy. I'm just gonna deconstruct this tile. That has no problem living on top. And we'll see how bad this gets. Some steam will get in here and this will get hot, but that doesn't really matter. problem. Never mind. Need to make all this stuff out of thermium. And I don't have any thermium over here. I made that out of a solid tile inst instead of just open. This was a bad idea. I forgot steel overheats at 275.
We're almost back down there. Building broken. Oh, yeah, you. Yeah, everything on the rails got hot. This was this, this was a dumb idea. I forgot just how hot magma can be. I thought dumping the water directly on there would help it come up a little bit slower and a little bit cooler. I think we're through the worst of it. Nope, you still want to be overheated. Why are you getting that hot? I wonder if there's something like exceptionally hot on the rail that's that got grabbed. Oh, this saves. All right, now they're good. Now we gotta get 100 degrees out of there. Okay, dumb idea, don't do that. Well, unfortunately, I think I'm just in the waiting game. didn't work on that either. All right, whole lots of mistakes. Say a waiting game. I need these pips to make a bunch of pip eggs. Once I get enough pip eggs, I can start feeding the tree for iso resin. I don't need to tame this volcano. I've done that before. I have all the niobium I need. Let's cancel you. I could come back over here, but I don't need water. At some point, this base will run out of polluted ice. Don't know precisely when that is. At some point it will. This is the planet with all the dead moos. I'm assuming there's just some sterile... frozen... meat patties over here I can come grab. Oh, yeah, that food is coming down. I might have to make another pip ranch. I really thought three would be enough. Huh. Feels like I could also get some dupes out of here, because they don't really need six dupes on this base. They're not doing much of anything. I mean, this base definitely doesn't need five pit, five dupes in it, but, you know, someone's got to work the oil wells and cook the food. I've almost eaten this entire water tank that took, well, what, like 400 cycles? And I haven't even dug out the entire main base yet. I haven't even looked over here. It's probably just another volcano. Let's have a look. Oh, I could not have planned that more perfect. There is another volcano over here. <laughs> Just about dug straight into it. So there's one here, one there, and one right there. Well, that should be all the vents. I don't think they give you four volcanoes. I'm trying to make that three. And super coolant is awesome. I mean, that's already down to glorious green. The whole base is coming down with it. This side, obviously, lots of hot debris. That'll take a little bit, but two aqua tuners should take care of it. 
I really do want to start eating the heat out of here. Oh, let's try it like this. Let's make that bl block out of obsidian. It won't exchange heat as fast. And then we'll be prepared for me screaming about how I broke everything again. Oops, what else are you guys doing? Oh, I did set up the telescope for a little bit. Obviously, there's nothing else around this planet. And the game is very chugging. I put in another door because this air pressure, now that it's clean air, is so high. In fact, I could probably do... No, I'm, I'm trying to think of whether or not I could put another door in so anytime they open this, clean air would go in. Suppose I could just do this. You know, it's kind of an airlock. The slime lung will die off eventually. Is that you bringing obsidian? Then I won't be using algae. Yeah. Flat tile gets stupid hot, but it's obsidian, so it shouldn't melt. Yeah, 2700. What's that doing to the temperature in here? Yeah, that's coming down at a reasonable rate. Okay, this was a much better idea. I mean, because I'm dumping the cold water straight on here, Yeah, that steam's already below a thousand. Ooh, I don't know, that's getting up there. Really should just replace all this stuff with thermium. All right, that's a better idea. Talked myself into it. You interior, let's enable you. How much thermium do I have? Oh, that's the whole side. Thermium, nine tons. Okay. So you, we want... I'm trying to scroll down into the planet. So let's empty you. Oh, no, nah, it should be fine. Oh, that's tungsten. It, it's hot, but it's not horrible. I'm trying to take the tungsten from here back to the main planet. So let's set you to 200. And the shipping rails are going to go through this water. Yeah, 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 I'm working on it. Never mind, this was a bad idea.
Alright, that should come down in temperature now. God, these saves are awful. Alright, what is the distance? One, two, three. Okay, yeah, so I can go straight to here. I don't have to bounce off the other planet. That's the plan. We will load this up with tungsten, send Gene here over to grab some extra food and thermium. I mean, tip, tungsten just exchanges heat so fast. I have one bit of hot tungsten. The rest of it's all nice and cool after running through the water. Perfect. View interior. Tungsten at a seven. You. Three should be fine. Oh no, I need them to load the tungsten first. Unless that was all of it. No, there's more. Okay, why are you both just waiting in here? Is there more tungsten? None. Okay. You. There. I don't care about the fuel because you should have enough oxidizer to get there. Disable. Then I'll just have you put on the suit manually. Why do you not? Oh, because I am a dumbass. They, they have power wires. I just disconnected them so they'd stop running on the wheel. Yeah. There we go. Well, I know my last couple of episodes have run long, but really all I'm waiting for is this to become active in 38 cycles. So it might be a little bit before you're back here. I mean, this is cycle... 674, so it'll probably around cycle 700 for you, because there's not really a whole lot else for me to do. I'm gonna go grab thermium, bring thermium back, switch all this steel stuff over to thermium, and then figure out a better way of getting the heat out of this magma. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've all enjoyed this playthrough. Um, you know, pretty much once I start feeding the tree, then I'm gonna be waiting for the next big update Oh, yeah, this volcano. Yeah, the next big update and bug fixes. So I'll probably keep playing on this map as they're working through the bug fixes on testing before I start next one. This one has definitely been quite the slog of dealing with stuff as they add it, which has been fun. So I hope you're all are having a wonderful day, and we'll see you in quite a few cycles.